Hey everyone, my name is Amber. I'm sure he's... And I'm back with another reaction video to Seal Kiss from a Rose. Yep, and we're mainly doing this one because we just recently did Dan and Violet's version of this. And Amber said she hadn't really heard the original, so I thought we should at least do the original. Yep. Uh, it's always good to hear the original as much as I'm probably not going to try because, you know, like, as she said in the last video, this is more pop and R&B, so not really my style, but... It's good to see how it compares. Yeah, and, and I'll just say this is like nostalgia for me because I remember listening to this in the 90s on the radio with my sister, so. Um, and before we get into it, we'd like to send out a request for suggestions for female fronted bands that have uh, black uh, female uh, singers. Black female fronted bands. Because uh, for February, we got a theme coming up. So, we'd like to feature them. Doesn't have to be not, not as long as it's, you know, in something we'd like, preferably, but. Yep, and I'll also make a post. Just in, and then, and, and, and necessarily doesn't always have to be just black women. Like we do, we will take any other female fronted bands that you happen to have. It's just that. Uh, February is also Black History Month, so we want to incorporate, you know, some yep. black women in there. So, uh, let's get into listening to this black man sing. Yep. <laughs> let's hear it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, actually, dang it. Well, no. Oh, I always forget. Why do I always forget? Because we had issues just a few minutes ago, so. <laughs> Getting back into it again, okay. Come on. Obviously, this is, you know, the original's a lot slower and <laughs> smooth. I like, you know, his, he, like, he does find areas, I will say, to, like, go higher. He does put some emotion in there. Um, and he, but his, he's just, like, known for his, like, really smooth, velvety voice. Mm -hmm. He definitely has a smooth voice. Um, I can see why this one, a lot of people like it. He has a nice voice. Um, yeah, this is... 
borders on like pop, like so many different genres. Because you could almost consider it like soft rock too. Yeah, definitely. I could see why it got very popular in the '90s because it's just like that. It can be played on a lot of different stations because it can fit just about anywhere. So, a lot of people heard it. So, and you know, '90s was that was the best way to hear music was the radio. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I just remember this one was played a lot on the radio, and I used to sing it with my sister a lot. And um, but yeah, I, I like his voice. Yeah, yeah, I know it's definitely more like on the pop side, but um, musically, you know, it's you know really it's got a, some pretty sounds in there. Um, like the music's really sweet, you know. Mm -hmm. so yeah but this one is mainly you know more about his voice you know like his sweet smooth voice definitely well, let's finish it off yep let's hear this <laughs> So much a man can tell me, so much he can say. You remain my power, my pleasure, my pain. To me, you're like a grown addiction that I can't deny. Now, won't you tell me, is that healthy, baby? But did you know that when it snows, my eyes become a large and the light that you shine can't be seen? This was pretty good. Yeah, this was also like really catchy and easy to remember. <laughs> nice. Definitely, definitely that. Um, yeah, he's got a nice voice. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what else I could say here. Um, I had some thoughts while I was listening. I just kind of lost it now. Um, that solitary um, guitar at the end there. Came me like reminded me kind of like Iron Maiden it has that in like a song where it's just like a very so almost like sad guitar sound. So that kind of reminded yeah. me of that, and I did enjoy that he, that, um, you know, they used the stereo sound of the speakers, like different sounds out of each ear. Yeah, not, I was gonna say that, yeah. not a ton I of bands like make it very prominent like it was in this one. So I did like that. So. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, this for me, I mean, yeah, this is just, you know, memories mainly. I like his voice. Um, 
like I said, very sweet, very smooth. And then he does find like areas to put like a lot of emotion in it, and he finds areas to go like higher vocally and stuff. Because I kind of like how he does it, because he finds areas to go high and then it'll go like a little bit lower, and then higher again. Like he did find some good vocal areas to change it up. Um, yeah, I know this is more you know slower and you know just more slow, pretty more you know a little bit more ballady feel. Um, yeah, you could probably get away with calling this like a soft rock ballad. Yeah, because, you know, that's just how it is. It's not like, it's not a super fast song or anything like that. Um, but yeah, basically, yeah, it's a soft ballad with, you know, they got some nice, you know, music in there with guitar in there and stuff. But yeah, like, I I mean, for me, I, I, I like it because I remember it, you know. Back when I was younger, so I'll probably also I like his voice. I'll still give this like an eight point four. I'll give it mm, seven point nine. It was good for what it was. Um, he's got talent, just not really my thing. I prefer obviously Violet and Dan's version, um, because the guitar was heavier and I just like their voices together. Yeah, I mean, I'll admit, I like Dan in Violet's version better, too. They did a lot more vocally and musically a lot uh, heavier. Um, but I will say, like, this one, there was a lot, like, you could change up, you know, because it wasn't, like, musically, this was, this rhythm and the tune was pretty similar. So you could just, you know, make it faster, heavier, pretty easily because it's more pop and mm -hmm. slower pace. So that helped to make it a lot, you know, change it up easier. But, um, you know... Uh, I did like I do like Seal's voice too, but yeah, definitely the the cover was a bit better. <laughs> definitely, so yeah. Uh, please check links in the description for our video and all of our social media. And we just want to let you know that both our Patreon and PayPal are now open, so please just send us your requests, and the links will be down in the description. Until next time, bye. Bye.